All right, and welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our next deck, which is going to be Jund Aggro. That's what we're starting the day off today with. Um, this deck looks pretty sweet. So this is a donation deck that we're going to be playing here where um, we are a gruesome menagerie deck. So we have lots of creatures at the one, two, and three mana slots. And we've seen how good Priest of Menagerie and Judith are. Um, that's like a, a good combo that we've played in a lot of different decks. And so we got them here as well. Um, and, and of course, have our good supporting cast of Gutter Bones and Midnight Reaper as well. But the thing that's different here is we're playing a little green in this deck for Charnel Troll is the big, the big reason to be playing green. So three mana, four, four Trampler. At the beginning of our upkeep, we do need to exile a creature card from our graveyard. So we're going to have to have a lot of creatures in our graveyard. So it doesn't work the best with Menagerie, of course, how we're taking creatures out of the graveyard. Um, but the power level on this card is pretty awesome because that first turn, whenever you, every time you do that, you put a 1-1 counter on it. So whenever you untap with Charnel Troll, it's a 5-5 Trampler. That's pretty big. And then the next turn, it's a 6-6 and so on. It just It gets really big. And you can even put more counters on it by discarding creature cards. So um, in order to help enable that, we have to put some more cards in our graveyard. So we have Glow Spore Shaman and Stitcher Supplier to self-mill ourselves um, and everything like that. Um, so as far as Cyborg goes, uh, like I said, just feel free to tweak the Cyborg. Um, I'll, I'll just keep, I won't keep the same like the first time we play it. At least, you know, we'll see if, like, whenever we play, if there's things we really want to, to tweak. But we basically have, like, a lot more removal spells in, for the most part in the sideboard. Main deck, we only have the two cast downs and the Priest of Forgotten Gods um, for the most part, unless you count Orzhov Enforcer. Um, but then over here on the sideboard, we have some Bedevils, some Crushing Canopies, Trophies, Lava Coils. So lots of removal on the sideboard. Um, which. I'm not sure if I like just so many spells in the in the sideboard when we're playing Gruesome Menagerie and stuff. Like maybe we want some more creatures. Like maybe Crowl Harpooner is a card that we're going to want instead of Crushing Canopy, for example. But we do need to be able to destroy enchantments. Uh, destroying enchantments is an important thing to be doing. But so we'll see. Um, but something like Harpooner and Thrashing Bronstone is probably kind of hard to cast. But maybe Rex Age. You know, maybe maybe we'll want to end up being more creature heavy, but. We'll go ahead and go with our sideboard here. Hey, Sam. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you with no speed run there. Uh, traditional constructed. There we go. All right, Jund Aggro. Um, but yeah, doing good. We got some fun decks today. We're we're uh, going to be playing Orzhov midrange, the same deck we played yesterday, with some uh, updates that we're talking about at afterwards. Uh, that deck, we had a donation to play that deck again, and um, and then uh, the other two decks. I'm going to play some more Bant Flash, which which is my favorite deck of the format right now. Is my Bant Flash deck? Uh, that would be the deck that I'd be playing at like a tournament. So we'll we'll play that in some ranked queues. We'll do a little bit of ranked at the end of the stream. And then we have Quasi Dupla Ooze, um, which is a deck that we played basically at the very, very beginning of Ravnica Allegiance. Only played it through one league. Had a lot of fun with the deck. It was a lot of fun to play. So we're going to try, try it again. We have a land heavy hand, but I like our turn two and turn three. So keeping this, but don't want to draw the sixth land. We have 23 in the deck. Mono Red's not exactly what I want to see with this hand. Priest is an easy card to shock. Oh, I'm glad I get to trade, though. Midnight Reaper, of course, is the kind of card that we want our life total to be as high as possible. Yeah, if you want to donate for a deck, um, if you scroll down to the... If you go to the info panel um, here on Twitch... 
there's a lot of information about that, all the different things to like for donating for the deck, and you just just click like the donation banner, um, and that will get you there. Orzov off mid range, pretty sweet, cool. Oh, good call. Yes, I can. Deck master. Let's get that up. Somewhere in the vessel. Um. I didn't think it was worth it just to play Gruesome Menagerie just to get back a Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Especially when we had a card that self-milled us there with the Shaman. Alright, Frenzy's doing its thing. Steamkin. It's a pretty good turn. Wasn't like necessarily the best, but you know, land drop plus three creatures. Pretty good turn. Um So I can play I can play this Judith here. Have it uh sacrifice the other Judith. We get two triggers. We can just kill Steamkin, kill Pyromancer, attack on in, they block Glowspore Shaman. Take six, take another one, take seven. I go down to nine. Um, so I'll be at nine. I mean, it is, it is possible for them to kill us from nine, but it's not super likely. But we'll have a, a real good chance to win from there. Oh, we're going to go to eight, actually, because this Midnight Reaper trigger here. That's not ideal. Okay, that's a good card to draw. That's a good blocker. So they're going to have to get 8 points of burn uh, with this Experimental Frenzy this turn. Hey, kitties. Alright, able to get the, all the pieces for the Soltai Vanifar deck. Nice. Cool, glad it's yeah, glad that's going good. I guess that's what a troll sounds like. <laughs> I know, right, but it doesn't seem like twenty years at all. Cause I remember getting Final Fantasy Seven when it came out. And so Final Fantasy VIII's been out for twelve years, for twenty years. All right, well those aren't eight points of burn, so that's good. All right, we got game one. At least that's my assumption when the opponent's saying GG. Draw your three. So we want to stay low to the ground and aggressive. Um, we don't have like the life gain to like win a like to be real defensive here. Do you know the Midnight Reaper is not exactly what we want though? Hmm. I guess if we if we cut Midnight Reaper and trim a Menagerie, we can play a Scavenger and a couple Coils and a couple Duresses. So we can do that. Supplier doesn't do a whole lot for us, but Supplier does turn on Charnel Troll, so it's kind of it's kind of like a necessary card. The the thing about 
um, Gutter Bones and Supplier in this matchup being X ones, and even Shaman also. The X ones are tough against Chain Whirler. Trophy is cheap, that's true. And Trophy can blow up a Frenzy. Is Trophy better than Coil or Cast Down? Because it can destroy a Frenzy. Nah. I think I like the, the two Coil, two Cast Down, two Duress. Two Menagerie. Maybe we don't need the two menagerie. No, I like the two menagerie. All right, let's let's go with this. Let's try this out. Oh, it's Monday. Not the best day of the week. Getting back getting back to work. For me, all the days are kind of the same. You know, I'm just here each and every day. But, you know, I had that 9 to 5 job before, so no, Monday's not, not the best day. Hmm. It's even worse. Well, I mean, it's not worse. It's, it's definitely better, but... Not ideal. Yeah, it's kind of weird how... Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's, it's kind of weird how little the artifact clause matters on Bedevil and how much enchantment, how important enchantments are. Like, how, how good Mortify is compared to Bedevil right now. When you'd think, like, oh, wait, Bedevil can kill artifacts, planeswalkers, and creatures. That's got to be better than creatures or enchantments, right? And it's like, well... Enchantments may be more important than artifacts and creatures put together. I forgot their electrostatic fielding. Maybe I do need to have more removal. Oh gosh, gutter snipe also? Okay, I'm thinking... That's a good draw. I'm thinking that... Uh... I think I'm bringing in the trophy may not be a bad idea if they're going to be gutter sniping as well. I'm going to cast down the field. They just did nothing with their mana. So we're on their upkeep right now. Kind of surprised they're not just killing the Enforcer. And they get to attack with Lava Runner. Yeah, find finality could work in this deck. Um, the finality part with the 23 land deck is going to be kind of tough, like 6 mana. Uh, but find is pretty good, especially when you're self-milling. Yeah, find's pretty good. That could be a, a decent sideboard card against removal-heavy decks. All these fields. Good thing it looks like they don't really have anything else. I don't think they ha like for how they're sitting here waiting. It seems like they just have a burn spell in their hand, you know, like a shock or a lightning strike. I think that's their last card is a shock or a lightning strike.
Oh, nice, Spark. Good job. Got to Mythic Unlimited. That's awesome. You're flooding over there? We we are not flooding over here. Maybe you can ship a couple of those lands over here. We'll give you give you some spells. Alright, let's go to attack, attack. That's a good point that Fine's not the best with Troll. Like, if you need to... Exile. Like, if you need to exile creatures from your graveyard, taking other creatures out of your graveyard doesn't work the best. Uh, let's kill this. Alright, make them sacrifice. And this Priest of the Forgotten Gods card is pretty good. So we have a one, two, and three in the graveyard now. So next turn we can just cast through some menagerie. Our opponent's not doing a whole lot though. I'll just put this back in my hand. Because we can just play it, sacrifice it. Opponent just kind of had a lot of lands. They had three fields, one lava runner, and one shock. That's all they had. Oh, sweatpants. Oh, you're. Oh, sorry. You're here, and yeah, you're flooding real bad. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so let's play this. Target target here, sacrifice these. Draw our card and then go menagerie. Bring back Judith, Enforcer, Gutter Bones. I guess, oh, I had lethal there if I just activated priest. Because I was thinking the priest was only going to do two, but it has like, it deals the two for the ability, but then two from Judith. So if I just don't attack with priest and activate the priest, I could have dealt, could have dealt the other a little bit. Obviously, it doesn't really matter us being at 13, our opponent empty handed, and all that kind of stuff. Alright, picked up a win. Hey, Talia. Alright, so unfortunately our opponent uh, flooded out really hard. Alright, Mass. Um, there, that second game. Let's see. This doesn't seem like this will work. We just had one more land, because Glow Spore Shaman, um, if we could cast this, you know, we get to mill three and, you know, like, basically look at six cards and put a land back on top. So it's like, our third land is, like, pretty easy here if we had the second land. Um, but, man, this hand is good. We just can't keep the one lander, though, right? Probably not. Ugh, that's a lot uglier. Wow. Alright. Um. It's gonna be a difficult game to win. 
Can I go back and just keep that seven? So Charnel Troll's not really doing much for us. So we're like a, we're basically a three card hand. This Charnel Troll doesn't do anything. So we mold a three. So we have a three mana two two. Do you think our opponent can beat a three mana two two? They may not be able to. We got a nine turn clock. Yeah, we can't even can't even cast down our Judith. Okay, that's a card. Now we can play Charnel Troll next turn. We have one creature in the graveyard. Hey, what's up, Kenny Khan? Attack. Maybe our opponent has nothing. Is that possible? Hey, good evening, Eyes and F. Gain 16 life. It's a lot of life. No creatures in the graveyard, though, unfortunately, for this gruesome menagerie. Hey, Colonel Fault. Doesn't look like our Moldafor is going to win. So I can, I can get back to two things. I can get back the Shaman and the Judith. Um, or I can... If I play Stitcher Supplier this turn... No, let's just get these back. Shaman Judith. Yeah, we're playing against Nexus of Gates right now. Try to have a few more, a few more lands this time. Vivian is honestly just really, really good against our opponent. Let's get trophies instead of cast downs. Um, Tarnal Troll looked really bad there, but we also didn't really mill ourselves too much. To be bringing in more spells, though, Charnel Troll is just going to get worse. So if I 
cut a couple priests of the Forgotten Gods and some Charnel Trolls. No, Menagerie and Troll do not synergize well together. Um, but we're hoping to just mill ourselves enough to be able to support both cards. But no, they, they don't. Crushing Canopy is an option also. Yeah, I've been thinking about that one. I guess I'm playing Canopy. I don't... I don't love just having all sorts of interaction in the deck, because we need to kill our opponent fast, because they just have so much card draw that we can't just sit around and try to interact all day. But I guess it's worth it. Double Growth Spiral. Hmm. Oh, no lands there with the Shaman. There's some good cards. Better just to play Midnight Reaper. Midnight Reaper has three power. The double enforcer only has two power. Probably better just to play Midnight Reaper. It has more power. Yeah, they're separated, Cardius. Shaman. Alright, got some good pressure on the opponent. This is only 10, though. And they're at 11. So even if they don't have a sweeper here, we don't have lethal. But if they do have a sweeper, at least we have Midnight Reaper that we get to refill our hand. Judith would be, like, the best card to draw. Okay. Should I crushing canopy that? I guess I should. Let's go into full control mode so they don't just go straight to blockers. Because this puts them down to one. Get out of this full control mode. So that even if our opponent has a sweeper here, we still have the afterlife one, so we'll still have we'll still get like the one token. So they have to have like a sweeper plus an answer for the token. Hey, what's up, Landier? Alright, game three. Our opponent had a pretty bad hand there, game two on the on the draw. We're going to win game three on the draw now. It could certainly be difficult. Mm -hmm. our, our opponent had two lands. I mean, whenever we duress them on turn two, they had two lands. So I don't know if they kept a one-lander. Like they had one land in play and one land in hand. 
So they probably kept a two lander. Like Priest of the Forgotten God, Stitcher Supplier, Orzov Enforcer, like these numbers are like the things that I'm debating about uh, switching around. Stitcher Supplier doesn't do a whole lot for us with one power, but I guess these things are one power also. I'll just keep it like this. It's not aggro enough, but we don't have better options. But no, Orzov Enforcer is not very aggressive. Well, I don't think I really like the Rootbound Crags in the in here. You know, so we have two Rootbound Crags and two Stomping Ground. And I'm thinking I would rather have more Stomping Ground. At least three and one. So the last game was coming into play tapped. I think the the shock lands are probably pretty important in this deck. All right, should I trophy a guild summit? I probably should. I can just draw so many cards with guild summit. Maybe they don't have a basic in their deck. Dang. Yeah, the card advantage is certainly problematic. With Guild Summit. We could Assassin's Trophy the Gates. Certainly do that. Um, so playing double growth... Glow Spore Shaman is like the best use of my mana, but then if they just play another sweeper on the double Glow Spore Shaman, I kind of gain nothing. So I think I'm going to just go Midnight Reaper and then next turn Shaman plus Judith. Um, I think that's my plan. No, we're going double Glow Spore Shaman. I didn't mill. Didn't have such a bad mill. So they have four cards in hand still. Alright, and Judith is perfect here. So gonna have to Judith make these four ones so they can attack through a crisis. bad news is now I, I've played like all my cards um, if they do have another sweeper and I don't have Midnight Reaper out. But we kind of just have to play Judith there. So much life. Ugh. So if I shock and play Reaper, we're at 14, and then we would take 2, 4, 6, 8 from this, which would put us to 6. That's too risky. It's too risky of dying to like an explosion. Like if, if they have like a sweeper, we go down to 6, and then like an explosion kills us. Bad news, bad news. Just 
drew four cards for that thing. And they're only at 15. So we have Midnight Reaper and Priest or Shaman. Oh my gosh. It's just, yeah, it's just so much life gain, so much card draw. Gates deck just goes so over the top. I think I need this priest. Don't have much chance of winning this, though, at this point in the game. Yeah, a lot of things, and we're dead. Beating these 8-8s, eight it's going to be next to impossible. know what we can what we can find them having explosion certainly not it all right one and one tough matchup if you're not if you're not too fast against uh, gates they are the amount of life gain they get with the angel and card draw with guild summit it's just you know just ridiculous This is the same thing that happened the last time of just not, you know, one lander, zero lander. Same thing that happened last match.
Yeah, Plaza certainly helps there as well with the life gain. We have two cast downs um, and then Priest of the Forgotten Gods is removal in the main deck. I took out Charnel Troll in that last matchup and that's kind of bad. Like Charnel Troll is like a card that we would that we really need in that Gates matchup. So if we can't play Charnel Troll against Gates because we don't have enough creatures in the graveyard and everything, that's a really bad sign to want to play Charnel Troll at all because that's that really hurts us not having that card in that matchup. So. Yeah, maybe I just shouldn't sideboard it out. Maybe we need to just not bring in the interactive spells like Duress and stuff like that and just, just try to go for it. I could certainly see that being the case. Playcrafter, Playcrafter could be a good sideboard card. The thing is, if... You know, like, I already have like a... You know, I, I like my Rakdos Menagerie d deck that I have, but, you know, we're trying, we're trying a Jund version here that was donated for for Charnel Troll. But the thing is, is if, if we're not playing Charnel Troll there, we probably just shouldn't be playing green. I will. We need to move but we'll quickly. see. So... Let's go Menagerie. Priest, and then do I want... So the problem, like, so Judith is, is good. Because that kills, like, Teferi. But then, uh, we don't really have... Oh, we have another Menagerie. Let's just get the Judith. Say so we don't really have, like, the card advantage. This is hardly my worst defeat. Alright, now we'll go get back Midnight Reaper, so we can keep the card advantage up. I think... Why don't I just get Judith again? They're at 13 right now. Judith would add... it. Uh, so they're taking 2 right now to 11. Judith would make it 7. Or, sorry, they'd go to 9. If we get Judith, they go to 9. This is the only one. All right. Um. Yeah, like, yeah, Menagerie and Troll don't work very well together. It's certainly true. This morning I opened up an hour Devastation booster box and got three invocations. Wow. Boil, Blood Moon, and Damnation. Those are good ones too, especially Blood Moon and Damnation. Dude, that's awesome. So we're playing against Esper Control. So if we have Vivian, Duress, Cast Down Out. The 63. You just priest out. Yeah, glow spore, glow spore, and supplier are what we have to fuel our graveyard. I'm keeping both those in. Trophy's an option to be able to destroy us, Canton to fairy. Um, but I, I want to keep all these creatures in. With having, I'm, I'm going to be keeping Charnel Troll in this time. So if we, let's try keeping in Charnel Troll, not having in nearly as many spells. Don't want the spells. Basic forest. Ooh. 
Would help if we don't have to mold a five every game, but you know, our life's not that easy. No, said I have not. Attack. I think our opponent could have absorbed there. Waiting a turn before I cast this duress. There's not countering anything. So I want to take Kai's Wrath or Teferi. I have Negate. Hmm. Probably the Carnarium is obviously much worse for us than Kai's Wrath would have been. So it's not so good. No, Death Touch does not work on a Planeswalker. Ugh, this is bad. I am not going to sit this one out. All right, let's try not to mulligan to five. Let's see if we can actually keep a hand. That'd be nice. Let's see if we can keep a hand. Not mulligan to five and have a bunch of Stitcher suppliers either, like our worst card. Well, to keep. Don't like all these tap lands, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, not mulligan to five is what's our plan. Another Cry of the Carnarium would be really bad for us, though. We don't have anything to turn on this Charnel Troll at all. Um, Should have played the Enforcer first and just see if it resolved.
Threat of the Carnarium is just going to be really difficult for me to beat. I'm not really playing around it. I think it's just going to be really difficult for me to beat. I just kind of have to hope my opponent doesn't have that card. Could you play Eternal Troll if you said an upkeep stop to discard something for it to exile? Yes. I don't think that's really worth it, though. Um, you know, I don't think it's worth discarding an Orzhov Enforcer just to keep it around. But yeah, you can yeah you can respond to that to that trigger though. Alright, no Cry of the Carnarium. Just ping him to death with all these one twos. I can hold that thought. I wouldn't mind to land and just play Menagerie this turn. So I, I certainly need to do at least one damage to my opponent because of gutter bones. It's just if I should attack to fairy also. No, let's just attack them. Wow. I that's my fault for not checking the auto tap. That's my bad. You don't get to play supplier now. That's my bad. Keep up the pace. Well, let's keep on keeping on. As long as they don't have Cry of the Carnarium, we're doing fine ish. They may have Absorb here. Judith, that's a good one. That's a good card. We can just resolve this menagerie. We get Judith and no Priest break. and Gutter Bones all into play. They're digging hard for Cry of the Carnarium. Oh, I'm perfectly fine with Chromium coming soon. Chromium doesn't do anything. That's a problem, though. That's a much bigger problem than Chromium. Having Hostage Taker. It's much worse for me. This taker is a lot worse. Yeah, I can't imagine Chromium's in their deck right now. I'd be pretty shocked. So 
their last chance. Hmm. Alright, so we went one, two, and playing the deck. Um I don't like the green at all. That's a that's what I just have to say about this deck. I, I don't like the green at all. I think they made the mana a lot worse. Um, and Charnel Troll was just pretty bad of a card. I I didn't like I didn't even want like we often didn't have cards to exile from the graveyard. But even if we did, then it would just take them away from Gruesome Menagerie. Really didn't like that at all. The other thing I don't like is that because since we're playing Charnel Troll, we had to play Stitcher Supplier, which is just not a good card. Just you know, one mana, one one, just doesn't do anything. So, like, we had to fill our deck with, like, a card that doesn't do anything to be able to try to play this other card. And it wasn't, wasn't worth it. So, yeah, just don't like, the, don't like the green. Don't think it's worth it. Um, this was the Rakdos Menagerie deck that we played last time that I liked a lot more. Um, you know, we can have Angrath instead of Vivian. I think you're, you're still fine there. Um, and I really like Firebrand, uh, working with Judith. It can deal two damage whenever you have Judith in play. I like that a lot more. Instigators can get you multiple bodies and, and stuff. Remodies can re refill your hand. I think I would just stick with Rakdos. I think you could just go two color. Yeah, so... I think if you're playing Charnel Troll, you do not want to play Menagerie. I don't, I don't think that those two go together. Um, but yeah, yeah, maybe maybe having some more creatures in the sideboard, like Play Crafters um, or Rex Age, you know, like if you're playing green. But there we go. All right, so that's Jund Aggro. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button why firebrand over fiend firebrand is better at all times except for the only the only time fiend is is better is whenever you have priest of the forgotten gods in play and you are activating priest of the forgotten gods that is the only time when fiend is better besides that firebrand just does so much more um you know just the ability to like take out land war elves and uh jade light ranger before the triggers and all the all the kind of stuff it can do uh, and Firebrand works works really good with Judith also with like the sacrifice and it's just a lot more versatile card. Um, so there we go. Yeah, so if you're watching this later on YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you. For